Hello, everybody, and welcome to Riddle School 4. So, we're going to go ahead and get right into this. So, this is the well, obviously the fourth Riddle School game, and we are continuing on with the 150 sub two, two sub two week sub special over 150. This button obviously proceeds to the main menu. So let's see. I love all the images. Look at him. It's like, mm. let's get into this. Instructions. Riddle University. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. None of the people or places in this game are based off of real people or places, and any relation between the events transpiring in this game and the experiences of others are entirely coincidental and unintentional. Not that I'd really go to a school called Riddle School and try to interview a bald college student about whether he escaped school. Fair. Credits. Fun facts. Options. Quit. Oh, he's stepping out of the circle. That's cool. Okay, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with Riddle School 4. Accessing. Analyzing map system. Analyzing process complete. Riddle School 4. Music. I'm literally getting chills. Dun, 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 Whiteboard. Win, win. Okay. <laughs> He's not a window. He's Mr. Munch. That's very irritating. You got a window there, Mr. Munch, math posters. Um, whoa. Whoa. Hello, Diz? Phil's teacher, Mr. Munch, was the original architect of Riddle University. The school was built above a long pit of lava that he himself dug near an active underwater volcano. His plan to murder Phil Ectry, to forever rid him of this world, succeeded. And no one cared. Every other student of Riddle University eventually died from car wrecks, old age, and unforeseen disasters. Each one on their deathbed whispered their final wish. Please don't let there be any more Riddle School games. Okay, so this game, I don't remember what year, but this game was released on an April 1st of some year. This is an April Fool's joke. Uh, Riddle School 4 is an April Fool's joke based game. Uh, yes, I did know this going into it. If you click on anything, although that was kind of interesting, Diz. Kind of weird. Because he was on a poster in Riddle School 3, and he was sitting behind us in Riddle School 4. Um, but if you click on anything in this game, anything, you will die. Now, I don't think I'm going to release this video on its own, because <laughs> that's just... Uh, hold on. Just as every book has a start and a finish, a series must have a beginning and an end. I deliberately sucked all the room for another sequel out of the series so that it, too, may end. John Bro. This, so I think this is the first reason I love this series so much, is this game right here. It it tricked everybody. And a lot of the uh, big YouTubers, you beat the game in 25.8 seconds. <laughs> You've also unlocked real fun facts, special features now available on the main menu. Um, this, this video may end up going up by itself. I don't hope it won't because it's kind of pointless. <laughs> but... Um, 
yeah, we're gonna go check out the real fun facts quickly though. Um, I remember when I went to the San Diego Comic Con for the first time back in 2008, Tom Fulp asked me if I had plans to make a Riddle School 4, to which I said something along the lines of, I'm thinking about making a fourth one. At some point after I started making it, I lost motivation. At the same time, people started making urgent requests for a fourth game, so I decided even though I told my fans I'd never make the game, that I'd go to head I'd go to ha I'd go ahead and make this. As I type this now, I have no clue what the reaction to the new grounds public will be, but I hope the they enjoy playing this as much as I enjoyed making it. I laughed so hard. Um So, uh, see, real fun facts, this is fake. I made this final to the Riddle School series because I'd probably gotten more messages in Newgrounds, PM inbox, and more comments on my user page blog posts about Riddle School 4 than anything else. I said I was never going to make this game, but that was simply a diversion until I finally unleashed this beast. And now that it's out, I'm certain I won't make any more. And that is a lie. That is a full hard lie. Special features. Okay, so, what happened to all the characters? So I want to read all of these. Fred. Fred didn't really like school, but he thought it was wise to stay in school anyway, to make the best grades he could while not doing very much. He grew up and took many effortless occupations such as music conductor, substitute teacher, and abstract artist. One day, he fell asleep face first in a vat of paint. You can guess what happened. Smiley. Smiley had a legitimately good life. She grew up in with perfect 100s in every one of her classes, and had a long-lasting career in biomedical sciences. She got married to the perfect man who just so happened to have a smile face for a head just like her. They spent the rest of their days together, living happily in a treehouse in a beautiful forest. Zack. Zack was so determined not to be cold anymore that he bought a plane ticket to the tropics midway into his first year of college. Right above a Volcano Island, the plane ran into a bad bit of turbulence and Zack ended up crashing through a window. He fell into an erupting volcano and froze to death. Those are not words that you put together. Richie. Richie dropped out of high school, wishing he hadn't paid so much attention to coll collecting stuff. He was mugged in a dark alley and woke up trapped in a smelly dumpster. No one ever found him. Five. Five sold t-shirts online for a living, and his talent was eventually realized by a big graphic design company. He made the mistake of asking for a slightly large sum of money, and the company ripped him off and sued him. Five was put in jail for the next five years, and not once did the rest of his life, not once for the rest of his life, did he have enough money to sue them back. 808. Five's dad. He insisted on being the janitor at Riddle School, Riddle Elementary School. So this was game one because he loved to clean so much until his son was unfairly sued by a big t-shirt design company he realized he would need a better paying job and ended up being a garbage boy in france he was having so much fun that he forgot his son existed oh my gosh janitor in riddle school 2 the janitor was locked in his own closet in riddle middle school one day not too long before the school closed down and was replaced with a new one. He ate his mop, drank his dirty mop water, and nibbled on his hat as he was stuck in the darkness of the, the closet. The sound, the last sound he ever heard was the sound of a wrecking ball smashing the walls. Janitor Riddle Schools 3. The janitor Riddle Schools 3, he claimed he could hear a, hear a pipe problem from a mile away, and that was in fact true. His uncanny ability to hear talk Toilet Clogs earned him a television show reputation as the perfect eared plumber. The show was cancelled after two years because it was realized no one, nobody had ears. Furious, the janitor leapt off a bridge. Okay. Um, okay. He decided right then, never to drink again. The end. Oh, okay. It's coffee. Um, she went to the beach because there's lots of water in the ocean. She drank as much as she possibly could. The end. 
on our on the hundred cups she died of caffeine overdose teacher at school one nobody knew what to put on her tombstone because uh, Teachers once screamed at a student so loudly that the walls of the room she was in collapsed around her. I uh, died in were made of natural medicine, okay. Sleep, wait, Mr. Sum, some... Mr. Soggy, Mr. Reed. Okay, these are, I don't care about these too much. I wanna see if, Diz, supposedly a foreign exchange student, Diz popped up in Riddle School University a single time. And after that, was as if he completely disappeared from existence. Gender male question mark? Favorite thing question mark question question mark? Least favorite thing question mark question question mark? Interesting. Chub Munch. Uh, he lived an entire century after he stopped eating because of his metabolism. It is rumored Earth's most devastating earthquakes were caused by Chub struggling to move. Mm. Oh, oh, fun, fun, fun fact. The guy who killed us was Mr. Munch, which is... Mrs. Munch is, so Mrs. Munch loved to serve food, but she felt like she served her son Chubb too much, and she didn't know what to do. She discussed her internal struggles with her husband, Mr. Munch, and he said he, she should just give all of Chubb's food to him. She soon realized she had a terrible husband and divorced him, feeding her son more than ever. Mr. Munch, devastated by his wife's decision of divorce, started devising a plan to take the life of every one of her friends and acquaintances. He realized he didn't know as much about his former wife as he thought he did, and the only person he could remember her talking to is a kid named Phil Eggtree. He killed Phil and later died by overreacting. So, kinda weird, but I guess in the last game, us talking to Mrs. Munch for the pudding, is what caused us to die. Phil only went to college because he figured it had to be better than element elementary, middle, and high school. He went to the newly built Riddle University because it was local. It was cheap and he didn't have any particular plans for the rest of his life. So it wouldn't matter what classes he took. At first he thought this Riddle school was just like the other three he escaped from. Just when he considered trying to make his fourth escape, he found out it was completely different. Okay. Uh, this actually might be its own video. Hey, I'm John Bro, and this is the commentary for the Riddle School 4 ending, because I wanted to balloon the file size and make it look like the same size as Riddle School 3 or something similar. Um, I wanted to make a commentary just because it seemed like it would be a funny idea to have for the game, because most of the game is a movie. And... I figured I would have to make a commentary better than the one for Pain on the Brain 3 because that one sucked. I already had it in my mind that Phil should die in Riddle School 4 because I got so sick of requests for a fourth Riddle School game. Um, and I, I started one before called Riddle University, but it wasn't going to be very good. I only had planned the first room, which is the one that's seen in Riddle School 4. And I think it was just ripping off of the idea of another game where you had to make a fishing pole out of basic objects like a pencil and a string. I don't remember exactly. So my friend Yoshi Egg came over. He did. Uh, he was the other voice in the Pain on the Brain 3 commentary. And I said, I'm going to make Real School 4 tonight. And he's like, all right. So I started with that room. And I started animating Phil falling to his death in a lava pit. There were several ways he could have died, but we figured that was the funniest and the easiest to make. And one of my computers is a flash computer, and one of them is an internet computer, so I have to use a flash drive to go between the two. So I went to Yoshi Egg, who was on the internet computer playing RuneScape, and I said, Hey, can I use the computer for a second? I need to find some sad music for when Phil dies. <laughs> it was funny. He said I could never imitate exactly how I sounded whenever I said that, but I tried, so... Um, and one night, this game was born, mostly this movie, and we laughed our heads off watching the ending. Well, that's really about it. I need to think of more to say. The real reason I made this game was because I wanted to see the reaction on Newgrounds. When I was starting to make the first game out of the series, I wasn't picturing at all that I would ever make something like this. I was just trying to make a ripoff of Pico's School by Tom Fulp, and... 
Now it's a four-parter where he dies. <laughs> this is the best game ever. This is my favorite of the whole series, and it always will be. I'm going to try to scream like Phil again. No, that's not quite it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, yo, you beat the game in zero seconds. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So this, this is, um, yes, quit quitting, quit, quit quitting, it won't let me quit, it's telling me to quit quitting, okay, well, either way, <laughs> This is Riddle School 4. This will actually be a video that's on its own. It was a total of 16 minutes. Not a lot of gameplay, I know. But I also don't want to give away... Uh, I don't want to give this away. Because this is one of my... First, one of my favorite things about this series is this game. Um, I'm 99% sure that this was completely a troll game. And that everything in this is a troll. Including that commentary there. It's the first time I ever heard it, to be fair. But... I think he probably does like it because he probably did want to see the responses on new ground but it's a troll game because there are about two to three others three others uh in this series so i think three others we'll see but it's there's there's two to three other games in this series and i kind of i want this one to be its separate own because then i can do one per day um and having this be its own video as well will make it not look like this game is basically nothing. And that's kind of one of the, f the first very thing reason why I like this is this game. 90% uh, of YouTubers play this with Riddle School 5 or Riddle School 3 with 4. Um, but I am, am happy to play this on its own. And it's going to be about a 17 to 18 minute video. So... It's almost 20 minutes it's good I did want to go through those special features though um, I did want to go through those and read those off because I think that later on um, there might be references because I think that those way that they end I think is what John bro still wanted for them in the end maybe unless things change um, and that commentary there as well though I'm remember it for when we get to the later games especially the last one because um i think the last one might be his favorite the last one's definitely my favorite and for one reason that i can't state yet i have to wait till the last one so but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>